If you are a real audiophile, this video is for you. Today I'll show you how to modify Odyssey LCD headphones 1 quarter inch unbalanced cable to balanced 4 pin XLR cable, by doing this saving at least $100. After this modification you will be able to connect your Odyssey headphones, that is worth at least $1000 with this new cable to balanced headphone amplifier and get a better and more powerful sound. The original Odyssey high-end headphones use this 1 quarter inch to 2, 4 pin mini XLR audio cable, this is an unbalanced cable. A new balanced headphone cable for this Odyssey headphone in internet would cost at least $150, but I'll show you how you can easily make one for less than $20. To do this, you'll need to buy a 4 pin XLR connector, or any other balanced jack that your balanced headphone amplifier supports. I'll use Nutric, which gives good quality at an affordable price. You will also need to find various tools, a soldering kit and some heat shrink tubings. The next step is to find out which of the 4-pin mini XLR connector pins are the ground and signal pins using a multimeter. Once the pinouts are identified, cut off the large 6.35mm jack, unscrew if possible its housing, as you can see this 1 quarter inch jack will also be able to be re solder back if needed, or can be used in other audio projects. Cut a couple of centimeters of heat shrink tubing and use a pliers to make it wider and put it on the cable. Then cut two shorter heat shrink tubes and again use a plier to make them wider. Remove the longer heat shrink tubing and put the shorter two first and then the longer heat shrink tubing on the cable. Then use a multimeter to identify each wire, which is left signal wire, left ground, right signal and right ground wire. All these wires are the same look and without a multimeter this will be difficult to do. Then twist together left side wires and right side wires. Then mark the left and right channel signal wires with some adhesive tape. Then tin all the wires. Also tin the XLR connector contacts, this will improve the solder quality. Then remove all heat shrink tubing, it will be better, that put the XLR housing on the cable first, and put back all three heat shrink tubings. Then solder the wires to the 4 pin XLR connector using correct wiring so that everything works correctly and the headphones after this mod will sound much better. First pin is left channel plus, second pin is left ground, third pin is right channel signal and fourth pin is right channel ground. Once you have soldered all the wires successfully and correctly to the XLR connector, take a small piece of insulating tape and wrap it around the signal pin. Then do the same for the other channel signal contact, this will help avoid short circuits in the future. Then do a quality check with a multimeter to see if all the pinouts match up with how the theory says they should be. Check the place where the mount heat shrink tubing and attach it by fire or heat gun. Then attach the shorter heat shrink tubings where the chuck ends. Then put the chuck itself on the cable and insert it into the concitor in the right place. Put on metal housing and screw it tight. That's it. Nice, I like it. Custom made high end Odyssey headphones balanced cable. If you did that, Congratulations, you've saved at least $100 and in just a short time you can enjoy the sound benefits of a balanced headphone. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below this video. Thank you and good luck.